Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel. I'm so grateful that you guys are listening, subscribing and commenting on my channel. I really appreciate the support. In this video, I wanted to speak to you guys about compliments. Of course, INFJs are terrible at accepting compliments. I've done a video on this in the past, I believe. I've done so many videos, I sometimes forget. But I, I'm pretty sure I've done a video on the fact that INFJs have a really hard time accepting compliments. And we're really awkward about it as well. So if someone says, you know, your hair looks really nice today, I'll be like, <laughs> I'll always either do two things. Either I'll get really awkward about it and, uh, and you're like, no, no, it's not really like that, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, or I'll, and I'll put myself down or I'll just kind of wall it back to them. So I'll be like, oh no, your hair looks awesome or you're something, blah, 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 right? And I, I, I dislike both of those ways of doing things because a compliment is a gift. And if someone is giving you a gift, it's, it's rude not to accept it with joy and grace. And I really want to become a kind of person who accepts compliments with grace. So if someone says to me that you did a really good job on that, I want to be able to say thank you. I tried really hard. I gave my best and I'm glad that it showed. You know, I want to be graceful about it. I don't want to be like, no, no, it was just a fluke. I never actually do it like that. I don't know what happened today or something like that. You know, like, I don't want to be that person. I hate it when I do that because it, I can see the look of disappointment in that other person's face because they were trying to do a good thing. They were go trying to give me a compliment, trying to give me a gift. And I just wallied it back to them or I just hit it back or I, I didn't accept it. And I know exactly how I feel when I give a compliment to someone else and they don't accept it in the proper manner or they, don't, they accept it in a way that's not really an acceptance but a degradation of themselves, right? I don't like it. I feel like I feel bad for them. And so I'm sure exactly the same thing applies to us when we are being given compliments by others. Now we have a really high standard for ourselves. As you guys might know, we're perfectionists, but more than perfectionists, we hold ourselves to extremely unachievable standards a lot of times we have and put a lot of pressure on ourselves and so if someone gives us a compliment we always think to ourselves yeah i i could have done better <laughs> and so you know of course you could have done better but in that moment in time you did the best you could probably because you're an infj you probably did the best you could and that's all you can really do in the moment so that's what i really want us to do as infjs is to accept compliments with grace and joy and gratitude and to be able to say, yes, thank you so much. I, I worked really hard and I'm glad it showed. Or thank you. I don't know. I love my hair. So I'm glad that it looks nice today. Or I love my hair. That's it. You know, I always, whenever people nowadays say to me, um, your hair looks nice. Even if I don't think that it looks nice or even if I think it's behaving a little bit oddly, I'm like, thank you. That's really nice. I like hearing that. I love my hair just the way it is, exactly the way it is. It's, it's thin. It's fine. And uh, sometimes it's hard to manage, but I love it. I love my hair. I mean, things like that, right? Um, and so what I really want to do in this video is expand a little bit on that concept of compliments and how we have a tendency of trying as much as possible to give tailored compliments to others. Actually, a viewer, I think Jay brought it up in one of the messages he sent me and he's like, you know, do you think we give tailored compliments? And I thought that was really poignant because I, I really do believe that we give tailored compliments as much as possible. Right? I'll give you a quick example. A few days ago, I was at a workshop uh, for crystal bowl healing. So it was a lot of crystal bowls all around us. And you know the, the workshop um, person, how do you say that? The person who was running the workshop actually was going around and, and beautiful sounds were emanating from all these beautiful crystal bowls. It was, it was such a great experience. I loved it. And after the, after the experience, I was standing with uh, an older lady. I think she's in her late 50s, early 60s. I mean, she's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, but a little bit older for sure. You know, she has white hair, um, gray hair, white gray hair. And, and she's so tiny. She's like a little doll. Um, and so I was like, you know what, you look great, you look refreshed, your skin looks beautiful and you look really energetic. I, I'm so glad to see you. I hadn't seen her in three years or something. The last time I saw her was at an improv workshop a long time ago. And so I'm like, Mia, you look great, la 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 la, right? And so as much as I tried in that moment of time, I wanted to give her a tailored compliment. I just didn't want to say, oh, you look awesome. I want to make sure 
but I give her a compliment that is geared or adjusted to her specifically, right? And so she did, her skin looked amazing. I mean, for the, the fact that she is at the age that she is at, oh my God, her skin looked refreshingly dewy and, and gorgeous, right? And so I was like, all right, let me compliment her skin specifically. Because it's very easy to say, oh, you look beautiful today. But what about me looks beautiful, right? Like, why? What? It's just a generic compliment and it feels so fake a lot of times because they didn't actually put any effort into it. They didn't think about what about me looks beautiful or what about me they like. You know, I really like you. What do you like? What about me do you like? Or I really want to date you. Why? Right? I want to know exactly the details of what brought you upon to this, this argument or this statement. Right? It doesn't really matter to me if you're just going to give me a generic compliment and exactly the same thing from my perspective. I don't want to give generic compliments. It just seems like such a waste of breath because the person in front of you is going to know instantaneously that you're being fake. And I don't want to be fake. I absolutely do not want to come across as being fake. Also, if I'm going to give a compliment, if I'm going to put my effort into conversing with another human being, I want to make sure that I'm putting in the right effort into it. And something as simple as a compliment, I feel like a lot of people don't pay attention to it. But I think that you can really change a perspective of an individual or change their mood or boost them up with a very simple compliment. And so for this person, Mia, I gave her the compliment and instantaneously she brightened up. I mean, instantaneously she brightened up and she said, really? I thought I looked really crappy today. I feel really terrible. I feel low, low energy and I thought I was looking like ugly and things like that. I was like, no, no way. I don't know what you're looking at, which mirror you're looking at, but from my perspective, you look great, your skin is glowing and you look refreshed. And so don't even worry about it, you look awesome. And a couple of people were around us and they heard me talking about it and they're like, yeah, Mia, you look great, you look, I don't know what you're talking about. And so a couple of other people piped up as well and instantaneously her mood was boosted. And I don't know if it was in my intuition telling me to tell her this or was it just a random coincidence, but afterwards I could see that she was walking with a spring in her step, right? now. That's what I want to do. If I'm going to give a compliment, I'm not just going to give it willy-nilly, right? I'm obviously not going to just be like spreading compliments around like their grass or weeds, right? I want to give them with a little bit of purpose in mind and a little bit of forethought. I want to be able to say that I actually thought about it and then I gave you a compliment. I didn't just think, oh yeah, I'm just going to give a random compliment today and not even think about it. I know it seems like a really random thing to, to think about and to focus on, but for us, compliments are gold. Now, when we receive compliments, we're terrible at accepting them. So we want to ensure that when we give compliments, we're better at it, right? Now, as I said, I'm trying very hard to ensure that I become more graceful when accepting compliments. But in general, as much as possible, as I said, I tailor my compliments when I give it to other people. And I really try to ensure that I'm talking about something that is geared towards them. For example, a few weeks ago, there was this lady who was wearing this beautiful lemon yellow dress. And I had never seen such a color before. And she was obviously very bold for wearing such a dress um, because everyone around you know, just wears black or gray or white, you know, just typical colors. But she was kind of standing out. And I went up to her and I said, you know, I love your dress. I think you're so bold and so brave and adventurous to wear such a beautiful color. It really suits you. Your skin just, it just looks perfect with your skin, uh, your skin tone. And I'm so glad that you're wearing it. Uh, it makes me happy to see that bright, sh sunshiny yellow, right? And so that's the kind of compliment I want to give. I don't want to just go, go up to random people like, oh, your dress looks nice. No, you want, I want to put a little bit more effort into it. I want to think about it a little bit. I want to gear it a little bit more. I have communication skills. You know, we're great writers and we're great. We, we're good at talking as soon as we put a little effort into it. And so if I'm going to give a compliment, as I said, I want to put a little bit of effort into it. I just don't want to do it haphazardly or half-assed. I don't want to do anything half-assed, really. But specifically with this, because you are giving a gift to another individual. You're actually handing a gift to them, you know, using your sound or your voice. You're actually giving a gift to them. And you want to make sure that you just don't throw random plastic crap at them, right? Like you don't want to just give fake stuff. You want to give something that's tailored and a little bit, has a little bit of meaning to it. Because that is going to change their perspective, right? As I said before, I've said this many times before, people respect our decisions and our conversations a lot a lot more than other people. For some reason they have 
they respect us in general and so if we say something they will take it at face value they won't doubt us or they won't you know think that we're lying because we try as much as possible not to lie and we're pretty trustworthy so if you're going to give a compliment and you put a little bit of effort into it that person will believe and know that you're telling the truth that it actually is what you believe and that's actually something that you really do think about them and that is going to have a really big boosting and positive effect on that individual and that's that's just great can you imagine like just giving these kind of little boosts to people around you making them feel good about themselves boosting them up boosting their self-esteem and then having them go out and do amazing things to other people as well you know they get a boost and then they boost someone else and like like a ripple effect the whole universe is more positive because of it right and that just excites me a lot as you guys can tell Again, if you guys have any questions about this video topic or any of the topics that I've done, please let me know. If you're going to comment below, please hashtag it, like advice or question. If you want me to reply to your comment specifically, like with a, with a proper answer. Otherwise, I usually just leave generic comments like thank you for watching or thanks for listening and all that stuff. Because I read all comments, but I don't necessarily have time to reply to all comments. Okay. Again, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.